In the winter, when we were traveling, we didn't build sod houses, we built snow houses. In Canada, they call them igloo, but here in Alaska, we call them apuya. We do a day of travel, and then we'd make an apuya. The next day, my father would set traps, spend the day there, rest the dogs, give them something to eat, and then the following day, we continue to the next place. We'd go to my dad's sister, who had a house at the bottom. They had a small sod house over there. We didn't have to do anything. We just visit with them, and my dad and his sister were glad to see each other, and they'd talk away while kids played outside or go to sleep. By the time we get back to our home, my father would leave us with our aunt or with my grandmother, and then he'd start on his trips and go check his trap line. We were not into 8 to 5 kind of time, you know. We're in a totally different kind. We're in ecological time. Drum is something that's common to all cultures in Alaska. All cultures have a drum that may have some stylistic differences or differences in the materials that it's made but it's still in recognition of life and vitality. And the drum mirrors the heartbeat. And when you continue drumming soon, it will be in line with your heartbeat, because that's what it's supposed to be, the heartbeat of the community, and it symbolizes vitality. And it's, it's the most tremendous feeling to be in a room and to have one long row of all the drummers and to have that feeling of unity and everyone beating in harmony, the drum beat in unison, it's the most beautiful feeling. And to know that you're connected, you're on the land that you are connected to. And even if you grew up outside of the community, that which is in you comes from this area. And it's, it's the greatest feeling. Man, I went at it and look what happens. <laughs> They're just like other people. They just happen to be very small and extremely strong. These are stories that are common throughout Alaska. It's normally that people are in you know, a size from your elbow to the tips of your fingers, and they possess superhuman strength. So they may be tiny, but they can carry a whole caribou. And if you go up north and you talk to a number of the people in the community, they'll talk about having seen the little people. There's a place at home that we know, but we don't profess it to anybody. But it's not like the boogeyman. They can be mischievous, they can be ornery, or they can be helpers. And every now and then, we might have the opportunity to see them, especially if they want us to see them. The fact that it's across Alaska really tells you something about our history and how we interacted with nature around us.
Sila tane nunakin ata inyo kulok kasawag. Inyo kulong tado kami ang nutkakawa. Agalan ni Beak siya kalwado sa pagnaksimar. Sabi ako doktor do kami ng kilometaw. Tapos ibakta ni. Doktor, do kami ng kilometaw. Tapos ibakta ni. Sabi ako, Doktor, do kami ng kilometaw. Tapos na ibakta ni. Daw do kayo. Kinalip sabi ako, Doktor, do kami ng kilometaw. Tapos na ibakta ni.
Malago ko ni ublo ko ni, wisa ublo tik. 